Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and in this React JS video tutorial, we will learn that how we can use style and how many ways we have to use style in React JS. So we have a three ways to use uh, style in React JS. One is a normal style sheet. I just want to show you an example like uh, app dot CSS or index dot CSS. We can use style like this, right? And another one is a inline style so now you might be thinking that okay this is a normal style style like we are using inside uh, html pages and all but no wait this is a little bit different uh, the property in a uh, react inline style is a little bit different from normal style as well as inside it we can use variables props and states and all right and the third one and uh, most popular is uh, css with modules i will show you that how we can use css with the module in a modular way and uh, we will just check out the example and the all of these style sheet right and at the last i will ask you a question you can attempt this question in a comment box if you want right so now let's uh, see this is my output page basically right let me just refresh it once because i just changed the text here and uh, now uh what i'm just going to do i'm just going to uh use a style on this h1 tag and we have a three ways to use style that's why i will use a three h1 tags here right and on the each uh, h1 tag i will just use a different way right so first of all let's uh, look out that how we can use style in a normal uh, with a normal css file right so just write here style.css and you can just write here cl any classes like dot primary and uh, just write here some um, color uh, like uh, green right and uh, background color uh, let's say black and all right and now we must have to import it inside uh, our main file you can import it inside a uh, index.js or app.js or any specific component also and just simply write here import and uh, then style dot css right and uh, just use this class on that h1 tag right uh, class name keep in mind in uh, react we don't have directly class property we have class name right and just simply use here primary class name right and uh, now you can see that we have a, a css on our h1 tag and just simply put here some text like style one and uh, just make a copy of it and just simply use here style two and in a style two we will use a inline style so what we can do we can just remove it and just use a style property here but in a style we must have to use a double uh, curly braces why because one is for the jsx and second one for is the object because in react js we can use a uh, inline style with the object only so just use here color and uh, it can be like a uh, red right and now you will be a little bit surprised here so when we will use a background color right that time you will you can just see that in a style file we have a hyphen here between style uh, uh, background and color but here we will use a camel cases and just simply put here black right and now you can see that this is working fine and uh, we can just simply use this object like a variable also so just cut from here and uh, just uh, take a const or let like a style item and let's save it and now we already have an object so that we can just use it in a single curly braces and this is working same as the previous and now let's go for a third one and uh, we don't need to use here a style like this just define here style type 3 and uh, now let's create a file let's say custom dot css but wait whenever we will use a modular css we have to define here module dot css right and now just you make a classes here like a normal css like a dot 
success and uh, we can just uh, define here color uh, like uh, uh, gold and uh, second one is uh, golden road and then we can just say choose a background color which is uh, black right and we don't need to use here quotes I just use them by mistakely now whenever we will import it we will import it like a module not like a CSS so just use here import style from our file name which is a uh, custom dot module dot CSS right and uh, now let's apply this as in class class name and just simply put here uh, in a single curly braces like uh, style dot success and this success is our uh, class name here right and now you can see that this is working fine so that's all about a CSS yes there is a fourth way also we can use some libraries like uh, styled component all but uh, for that uh, we need a separate tutorial because they can just take uh, six to seven videos or more videos for uh, get the basic level right but they are not using mm, they are not used much more also and all right so now uh, now i have a question can we use uh, style one which is a normal style and a uh, style three which is a uh, modular style in a single class also if this is possible you can just let me know yes if this is not possible just let me know no right and thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box bye bye take care